Okay, welcome back. I want to make a mechanism tank right now so we can store our XP on the outside of our system, or at least some of it, so I can pump it out and just stand there while I'm leveling up. So let's just, where do we want to place this? Maybe right here where the stone cutter is? Place this here. We'll uh, break this. Go down here, break this. We're gonna need an uh, exporter. Place this here. Go downstairs. Place the exporter on that. Grab some cables. And pipe that into there. Now we need to tell it to take some fluid. So let's grab a bucket from here. Let's right click on the exporter, change it to fluids, and left click that into there. So now this will start filling up with XP. And then what we can do is make an XP tap. And now we can just do that, and then we'll just gain XP. So let's make a speed upgrade or two. Do I have them here? Yeah, I do. Well, we need more of these. Drop these in here. Oh, we got all that glass too from last time. Uh, drop this in here. Drop that in now. We will put the XP back in there. That's really nice actually that you can just left click the buckets fluid into there. Beautiful speed upgrades. We're making these. We'll make two of these and we'll just drop it in here. Oh, it still can't keep up. Okay, well let's make all of them I guess. Let's just make all of the speed upgrades and see how it does. Okay, it can kind of keep up now. Yeah. Nice, but I mean, we're going to drain all this XP out. <laughs> we're going to need a ton of XP um, if we're going to want to level up to upgrade our gear with this re reforging table here. So let us go stand over here for a little bit, I guess, and let our system gather some XP. So I'm noticing that the Endermen are actually going and teleporting out of the system uh, when they're getting hit sometimes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go over here, turn this off, and we're gonna go in here and we're going to put no AI on it, if it'll let me, there we go. So now, hopefully that means that the Endermen won't try to teleport anymore and hope that they don't try to teleport. So now the Enderman should just stand there and die. Ten hours of Minecraft mob farm for you to sleep to. No talking edition. <laughs> That's what this angle right now reminds me of. Those ten hour long videos. <laughs> Oh man, I was AFK and I'm getting my ass ate. Whoa, they pushed me so far away from home and they couldn't kill me. Damn, that's crazy. Well, let's go to sleep then. Wow, they broke all of my armor while I was AFK. God, those goggles look funny. Now we really need to make more armor. We have no choice. I think I figured out what I want to do with this nasty looking side of the roof. <laughs> I finally figured it out. Um... I, I really, I really, really, really don't like this. Uh, it's been bothering me for <laughs> almost the whole time. But I do have an idea of what I want to do here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first thing, we need to remove this. Uh, we don't need a pillar right here. What we can do instead is we're going to fill this in with this here. So we're going to grab some spruce. Oh, not spruce logs, we'll grab spruce, and we'll grab some dark oak planks. Darl, darl oak planks. We'll grab those and these, and we will take that. We need some framed stairs, some framed blocks, some of these. We need some more framed stairs, actually. I think this will look uh, much better than what we had previously. Still won't be the best. I still need to add some more detailing to it, but I think this will be much nicer than that weird ass, <laughs> that weird ass little cascading roof I was trying to do. 
I'll probably adjust this over time as I get more and more comfortable with building. But for now, this will do. And then we'll just build this across and it should look much nicer. I'm gonna need some more framed blocks, man. Ouch, my legs. Yeah, that looks much nicer. It doesn't look too bad. What I might what I might want to do is this. Is uh go through this line here and do uh well these are slabbed edges. That would make sense. And then what I can do is put some stairs up. Do a slab edge on this, on this one here, right there, and then boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I think that's a little better, maybe. Yeah, besides this framed cube block here. Besides that part, um, I need to do stairs there. That's what I need to do here. Need more stairs. We need more stairs. More stairs. Let's just grab uh, 12 of those. And get after it. Well, there's stairs right there, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, stairs. There's stairs. Slab. There's. There. There. Hey, you. Hey, B. What's up, B? You are. I want to capture you. You wait. You wait there. You come back here this instant. Thanks. I don't know why you want to mess around with that block there, but okay. Oh, I see why I can't really do that, huh? It's because of the way this is. Well, no, because I can just get rid of those. Let me do this here. You need to do this and that so the textures are the same. Then this and that. Slab here. Boom. Boom. Is that good now? Yeah, it's good now. Okay. All right. We need to add more detail here, like a double, a double framed, so we can add more uh, detail. So we do like a boom and a boom, and then we can do dark and deep. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. There we go. Yeah, it looks much nicer like that. I like that. I am a fan. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Slab, 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 slab. That reminds me of Borderlands. Hey, slab! From uh, <laughs> from Brick in uh, Borderlands 3. Meat slab! That's what, he's, that's what he's called. He's called meat slab. There we go. The, be the better option would probably be to shift this over one completely so this lines up properly. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now because I already built this and I don't feel like doing that. It does look better though, I think, like... Like that with the raised roof. Still looks like crap. I won't I won't pretend it doesn't. It might be better to lower this completely and just have the roof go on. But uh I like it better than that little shitty ass roof that we had going. I uh was not happy with that at all. Was not I was pondering that for a while. I didn't I didn't like it. Not one bit. Okay, so we need to make new armor. Um, I left this note for me because I ended up taking uh, a couple days break so I could edit stuff, maybe come up with new ideas while I was not playing the game. And that's where this roof came in. I was looking at the roof and I was like, man, I could probably do something like this. And that's where, uh, that's where that came from. <laughs> we did a little bit of mob farming. Let's check our fluid. So we have 62 buckets here and we have 32 buckets here. Okay, that's not a bad amount of XP. We need to make some armor. And for armor, we need to make some diamond armor. We already have a chest plate here. We can use this. We have some pants that have protection three and unbreaking three. We can use those. So we can use these two pieces of armor and they already have enchantments. Uh, this is mana boost and projectile protection. Maybe we use these and we can just repair these with our backpack anvil. I'm sure they're gonna take three. That's fine. They already have enchantments on them. Uh, so we'll take those for now because we don't we don't have a enchantment setup going, so we'll just take this uh, as it is. Now we can grab our smithing templates. We can upgrade these to netherite. Oh, do I need to do it? Hold on. I want that like advancement. What is it? 
Isn't there an advancer for that? Putting on all diamond armor? Oh well. Anyway, let's just do this. Yeah, cover me in debris. Not debris, it's a debris. Okay, sweet. We have netherite armor now. Awesome. We're looking snazzy. Look at us with our netherite sword and whatnot. Okay, so next step is XP. So we can use this to get some purple gear. We have 10 arcane sands. Let's look for some armor stuff to see if we have anything any i know i think we have a few purples that we can disenchant here uh so let's look for those oh these are the blessing chest plates damn that's right there's we have so many blessings blue 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 we have a lot of blues man we might go farm we might need to go farm purples well let's uh let's just scrap this stuff yeah we got five arcane sands um screw it just do that another five okay perfect that should be enough to upgrade our entire armor set let's get some xp pumping out of here and let's uh let's actually just let's, can we reach that from here yeah and we can get the xp sweet okay cool so do this put those in there purple honestly we don't really have the luxury of trying to min max these um, but i would like that one that gives armor and luck and max health. So I'm going to wait for 60 for that. That's going to take... Oh, it only took 6 levels. Okay, that's not bad. And for this one... Ooh, Bursting Vitality. It doesn't give any health, though. And it takes away... Well, Luck, Armor, um, Instant Health. Okay. This is Speed 2, Armor Toughness, Max Health, Fall Damage is Reduced. Let's see this one. Resistance, Max Health, Speed, Mana, Armor Toughness, Gain Resistance... Um, what about this one? This one might be good to take. It has Bursting Vitality. It has Minus Gravity, which kind of blows. I don't really like that, but that's okay. That is okay. Uh, oh, we're out of Gym Dust, huh? That's Instant Health. I think that one's fine, because we get Knockback Resistance uh, buffs, we get Armor buffs, and Armor Toughness, and we get Instant Health from that, which this gives us uh, bonus healing, so that's good. Are we completely out of XP? We are out of XP. That sucks. Uh, we're also out of Gym Dust. So we need to crush some more gems. We got quite a few gems in our little trek into that desert uh, fire place, which was really cool. Got a lot of cracked gems. That's good. Alrighty. Let's drop these in here. Let's break them down. 15 gem dust. Okie dokie. And let's see. This one, yeah, I think that one's fine. Let's check the shoes just in case they have a better one. Luck, knockback, mana, speed two. No, they're not better. So we'll get this one. And we'll check this one here. That is a lot of boosts. Um, This one gives max health though. And the max step is up. Eh, but I don't... Uh, max step is kind of annoying sometimes. Maybe we get this. It gives us luck. Uh, it doesn't really give anything extra. This does give five max health though. But it's level 60. And three gem slots. And it gives speed when we're attacked. Choices, choices, choices. We need level 60 though. Um, Yeah, sure. We will go over. Let's go to sleep. And then we'll go over to the mob farm. And we'll get some XP pumping. That would be a good idea, I think. Still have quite a bit that we need to do with this uh, mob farm. But it's going to do what it needs to do for us. Let's check on the resources we have down here. Are these going along? Oh, 500 ender pearls already? Oh, well, that's because we took all of them out of our storage. Duh. We have wither skulls, 190 flesh, five of those weird blaze rods, 1.4k. Oh, that's, yeah, we took everything out. So at least this is still going. That's nice. The hearts. Do we have all the hearts out? Let's pull all the hearts out of here and let's chuck them in here. Oh, I forgot we have a virtual i forgot that we have our virtual storage grid up that's so cool though yeah we need to stand up here so these guys uh spawn maybe if we put agitators on them they'll work from a larger range but i know they won't work when we're standing at our base for now um we need to put more upgrades on them i think i wonder if there's a i wonder if there's something that can act like a player that pretends it's a player and will activate this from far away I know there's the player module, but that's, does that act like a player to have them continue to spawn? I am curious. I'd like I'd like to know. Oh, player simulator. What is that? Simulates player actions. Oh, but it doesn't pretend it's a player. 
Does the modular router act like a player? Like if we placed it over here? Let's see. Let's make a modular router. See if it uh, does what we need it to do. I wonder if we place it down. We need to give it redstone power, maybe. Will that do it? Will that act like a player? No. What if we put a player module in it? Player module. Oh, this needs uh, a puller module mark two, which needs a puller module mark one. Okay. And then we need to make a mark two. Then we need to make a sender module mark three. This is just an experiment. I don't know if this is actually going to work. Oh, it needs it needs end stone anyway, and we don't have end stone yet, so we can't even we can't even do that yet. Ding. Well, that's another thing that we'll try to resolve later. Yeah, I don't I don't know if this will work. Yeah, I don't I don't know if that'll work. But it's something that we can try later, so that'll be cool. All right, let's see how many buckets of stuff we have. I would like to know, please. Thank you. Are we full over here? How much do we have? Move, guy. Well, we don't have many. Not many buckets. I don't think this will even get us to the level we need. What we could do, though, is take a bucket. A bucket. Take one, and then do this. And then what we can do is... Oh, well, that's under the house. This one shouldn't be, right? Yeah. Do this. We just stand in it. And it'll give us XP. It'll make us eat our food. Doesn't give much, though. Yeah, it has been, it has been nerfed to the ground. Give me XP. We are draining our XP. It does not give much, does it? Well, let's go stand over there until we hit level 60. Because I want to enchant these boots before we do anything. Give me more XP. This is a friendly reminder to go grab some water and stand up and take a stretch. You've probably been sitting down too long. <laughs> what you got for me, bud? An enchanted golden apple. How, how? Man, you, you know what I want, don't you? You know what I be wanting, don't you? Nah. How many emeralds do I have? Not enough to give you anything. Ooh, can I use that? Can I use this on him? Nope. You don't get new stock. Well, that is unfortunate. We don't even have this full yet. Man, XP. I need more. Maybe this will get me to 60. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got enough. Let's go. Okay, now we can go in here and put this on there. Look at that. So many things and stuffs and all. Oh, baby, we got full purple gear. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. Oops, we did not mean to put those in there. Get out of there, boy. You ain't supposed to be in there. Get in here. Yep, thank you. All right, sweet. Well, we have full netherite gear now. That is so awesome. And what I want to do now is grab the brush. Is the brush in here? Yes. So we'll grab the brush. We will also check what we can do to the shield. Can we upgrade it to netherite? We can add... Oh, this is Voidic. I've never messed with Voidic. Interesting. What can we do to our shield? Can we upgrade it in any way? We can. We need Ignitium. There's quite a few things we can get here. There's a lot of shields now. Damn. Bronze, Osmium, Steel, a heavy plated shield. I don't know how good that is. I would like the Bulwark of the Flame. How do you get this? You need to kill a boss! Whoa, that thing looks cool, though. That thing looks really cool. I'll say that. I guess the best thing we can do is upgrade it to maybe this? The refined obsidian shield? But I think it loses all of the stuff and things that are on it. What about like this? Oh, but it removes my stats. I don't like that. Maybe the anvil. We'll just do the anvil here. Thank you, sir. Okay, sweet. We are... Good to go. What are we, what's our armor stat looking like? So we're at 26 armor. We have 14 armor toughness. We receive 20% more healing. We have quite a bit of knockback resistance, lifesteal, and luck. We have 2.5 luck. Magic power's up, but we're not even doing that. 68 max health. Base is 20, so we already have a bonus 48 max health, so that's good. All right, sweet. Uh, I think maybe we'll look for gems to put on our armor. Do we have slots on every one of them? Yeah, we do. We have quite a few. Okay. And I'm going to reduce the, the gooey size just for my 
just for me. Uh, it's making it harder to see everything that I want to see. So Jim, uh, we have Jim of the Samurai. If we put that on armor, it's more speed. Maybe I'll put one of those on. Oh, and we can pair it with this one because shields would give more armor. 5% all stats sounds nasty. If we put that on a helmet, chest plate, 20% max health for Gem of the Warlord. We only have one. Chest plate, 20% healing received. This gives 22% armor toughness. Plus 25% attack damage. Oh, that's on that's on weapons. All this guardian gem. Here we go. Shields plus 30% armor. Core armor gives toughness. Okay, so we can put this on our shield. That would be really good for shields. This gives knockback and it gives armor toughness on the shield what is this one brawler's gym solar gym gives step height we don't really want that it's kind of annoying honestly okay maybe we'll just do these for now okay so this gives speed um where's the gem cutting table didn't we make one or did we not make one we didn't make one yet okay let's uh let's make one we need a gem cutting table which we need shears for all right mr gem cutting table and I will put you here. So now a gem dust, and then we can upgrade it to the gold level, I think. We do this. Oh, we need luminous shards. So those. Okay, so this, the oh not that. This and this. Missing inputs. What am I missing? Oh, we need more gem dust. I see. Let's do cracked gems then. Oh, no, not cracked. Uh, what are they called? Chipped. So chipped gems. Let's do those. Move these over here. So take the chipped brawler's gems. Ooh, we might be able to upgrade those too. Actually, this is a purple. So a purple that's... We would be able to do that if we used those. Let's just take these ones out of here. So all of you chipped gems, thank you. You will go to a good cause. Let's upgrade this gem here to a flawless gem. Where were we going to put this on? We were going to put this on our boots. We're going to put this on our boots. We could also put it on our sword. Oh, it's unique. Never mind. We can't because it's, it's a unique. Where were we going to put this on? We were going to put this one on our shield. Maybe. Let's, uh, let's try to upgrade these brawler's gems here. Okay, and then we'll put that in there, upgrade that one, and then we'll throw this one in here. We can upgrade that into a Brawler's Gym, and then we should be able to upgrade it to the next level, 25% max health. That'll be really nice. So we got a Frawler's, Flawless Brawler's Gym. We put that on our shield. That'll be 25 max health. 25% max health, actually. Actually, that's good. We can go over here and take our shield, pop this in here, and we'll throw the Flawless Brawler's Gym in there. 25% max health. Put that on. Now we have more health. Hell yeah. That's really good. Take our boots and we'll put the Flawless Gym of the Samurai on there for more speed. Now we're going to be fast. Yeah. Uh, what else did we want to put on? Do we want to wait? We want to wait till we get some more oranges, probably. Oh, we have this one, though. Put it on our shield for 30% armor. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds really good. Our shield is freaking OP, man. Ding. We are so strong now. What's our max HP? 85. Look at that. We have an additional 48, and it's getting multiplied by 25%. So that's good. What's our armor looking like? We're at armor 33.8, so we have 26 armor, and it's getting multiplied up to 33.8. We're pretty strong now. Yeah, we are, we are, we are doing good. Let's toss these in here, because we want to upgrade those ones specifically. Let's check on our graves, because we added more graves, right? Still no souls. Well, to be fair, we haven't play been playing much. Let's check on our beautiful melons, huh? How much you guys got in here? Oh, baby, we're almost at 100k melons. Beautiful. Look at you guys. You guys kicking off. You guys doing stuff. You guys are so great. You guys are so awesome. Look at them over there. They working hard and we ain't even we ain't even gotta be over there. They doing so good by themselves. Okay, okay. So now we can go back to the deep dark. I really hope. I really, really, really hope that 
homeboy isn't there right now. Uh, the warden, he probably is because he hasn't despawned. Oh, another chicken. He probably hasn't despawned, so he's probably there. Uh, at the deep dark where we died last time. But let's see. Let's see if we can get away from him. Oh, God. Yep, he's right there. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. I almost shit my pants. Like, actually, that, that actually scared me. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, here's the ancient city, though. We could find the ch we could find the smithing template for all the modium. If we're careful, we just have to find suspicious clay, and we need to be very careful. I don't even want to open any of these chests right now. There's already two wardens over there. Actually, you know what we should do? We should read the quest book. Let's go to the beginning, and we need to go. It's right here. So. Yep, ancient city, suspicious clay. So we need to find suspicious clay, wherever that might be. Oh, maybe, nope, not this. This is, what is this, basalt? Yeah, polished basalt. Okay, where, oh, where are you, Mr. Suspicious Clay? Hey, that's not me. I'm not making noises. I'm not. That's not me. That's not me. You are the one making the noise. There's no way you smell me right here, right? Where are you? Did you fall? Why are you spawning? I didn't do anything. No, you're gonna blame me? It's all of these people, not me. I didn't do anything. Suspicious Clay, where are you? So I can get my all the modium armor. Oh, up here, maybe? Maybe by the big, big portal? No, you're scary. You're already scary. You don't need to be making sniffing noises. What is this? Gravel? Not clay. That's what that is. It's not clay. Where is it? Whoa. What was that? I don't like this. You can just go away. You're scaring me. This is the ancient city. Where would the clay be, though? Where are you? Man, this guy really is scaring me. Oh, right here. Right here. Is that it? Is that it? Was that fake? Oh, no. We got... We got trolled. I didn't get anything out of that one, man. Okay, so we know it's... Along the basalt here then, right? Because we just found one. It just uh, didn't give us anything. So does that mean it's along the where the basalt is? Oh, right there, some. Oh, no. Please, come on. <gasps> we got it. We got one. Yes! Yes! Okay, we need to go up here. He's over there. Yeah, you can stay over there. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> the heist of the century! We did it, man. Oh, man, so fast. We got in there and totally didn't get scared at all. Ooh, baby, look at this. Look at this, Rachon. We're gonna run out of nether. Yep, we ran out. Uh, Well, let's put one in there so we don't use it. Do we have any more ancient debris? We do, we have 20. Okay, so let's make an importer, or exporter rather. Let's make an exporter and put it on the crusher over there so it can do its job and export ancient debris when we have it. Do we have speed upgrades? We'll do a stack upgrade actually, which is gonna be a lot of speed upgrades. More of these. Oh man, we don't even got a nith. Ding it. Make these. We need processors, right? Is that where we're, what we're out of? No, we have more, huh? Do we... We don't have any now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's just make 16 of these so I can have some extra. Thank you, Mr. Barrel. Put those in there. Let's upgrade to another speed upgrade. And let's make a... What is this? Export upgrade. What does this do? RS, I don't know what those do. I'm really interested in those. But first, let's just make a stack upgrade real quick. Let's go over here. 
And on the crusher, we'll do this and we'll tell it to export that and we will drop it in here and then it will go. Oh, there we go. Stack upgrade in and this will cook up and this will get output because we set up these exporters and importers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we did. <laughs> we need to do some manual crafting here. Let's see, another right scrap. We have 78. So let's just do a stack. We'll leave some in there. That means if we have one stack, that's four times eight is 32. So this is gonna be 16 ingots, which means we need two gold and we need to enrich two gold. Oh, I'm silly. It needs to be crushed. Yeah, it takes 40 per. My math was just incorrect. Okay, so now we can make some more uh, templates. So then we can up up upgrade everything to all the modium. Grab some all the modium so we can do this. And then we drop this in here, drop this in here, and drop that in there. Oh man, we got all the modium armor already. That's crazy. Whoa, who would have thunk it? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. We're the king now, boy. Okay, now we can upgrade our sword even. Do we have another smithing template? Just in case. I want to be sure. Okay, we do. Okay, I was about to be scared. All right, now we can make an all the modium sword. Look at this damage increase, man. We are sitting at 11.5 damage, 2.13 attack speed. Now we're going to be at 19.5 damage and 7.3 attack speed. Goodness. Oh, we are we are kitted out now. We are we are Hemothy for real this time. Two quest rewards we get. So we get a uncommon reward, which is avocado toast, which I like. Now we get an epic reward. What are we gonna get? A temp pad. What is this used for? Oh, is this for teleporting? Yo. What? Huh? I don't know what this is. This is, but I have one, and I don't think you can craft one, so that's cool. Now, when I press B, it opens up the tim pad. So let's go in here. Let's just change this to J. Sure. Oops, it's gonna conflict with that now, but I can just right-click it, so I don't care. Alrighty, well, we did quite a bit here. That's really freaking cool. We cannot, we can't make a Silent Gear all the modium pick. Well, ain't that something, or can we? Pekik, a Pekik X? Nope, we cannot. Okay, so we can't make an all the modium pick like that, but once a grave pops up, we will strip the enchantments off of this one and we'll put it on the all the modium pick because that thing's indestructible, just like this one and just like this armor right here. It's all indestructible. So I'm happy with that. That is so sick. We are in a really cool position now. I want to put the avocado toast in here. Yeah, so we can eat that. Backpack. Where's my deposit upgrade? Advanced deposit settings. Let's put the temp pad on there. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Well, we did that. We got that. We got the all the modium armor. Sick. And we can literally rush vibranium if we wanted to because we know where some is. But then we need, that would mean we would need to get the vibranium, the vibranium upgrade template. But I'm happy with where we are right now. We did, we got our freaking armor. Maybe now is the time to look for the end uh, portal. Let's check this uh, all the power page. And let's look at mid game power options. Let's see what they want us to get. Okay, so, oh, so the, the gas burning generator is a mid game one. Okay, well, we already did that. And then we have power we can mess with power so that's cool oh oh i know what we should do i know what we should do today we should do a farm yeah that's what we should do we should do a freaking farm that would be really cool because we can set these up and where do we want to do a farm at like right outside the house like right where all this stuff is maybe we clear this out here yeah maybe we clear this out oh and someone did leave a comment telling me how to fix this uh, I will do it at some point. I'm just not too worried about it right now. I really want to get some other things done. So maybe we do that farm. That could be a good idea, I think. So we're going to need mystical agriculture. We're going to need this. And what we want to work on 
is the harvester. We want the harvester. That's going to be really good. We're going to need the infusion pedestal and altar. And we're probably going to want to use these growth accelerators here. That would be really good. We will also want to add this to our list of things. The machine upgrade base. So we can start growing things faster. Yeah. Yeah, since we're all strong and whatnot, let's just go, let's do some farming. Let's not fight anything. Let's just farm stuff. That sounds like a good idea to me. We'll do some spruce outlining for the farm. Oh, first we need to pick up a bucket, a bucket or three, uh, so we can clear out our very first power generating machine. <laughs> you will be missed, my friend. You were so good to us. Goodbye, sweet prince. You did, you did us so proud, but alas, it is time for you to go, and also for these to go. Goodbye, sirs. And now we can actually just strip this whole thing down. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You still got cables? I hope those, I hope the cables didn't go through the power cube. Okay, let's grab some dirt. Let's grab some dirt. Do we have a building wand? Okay, we have our diamond wand still. That's good. We might need this for what we're about to do. Maybe we want to go out one more here. One more out that way. We'll do this. And then we'll do this. Just close that off. I'm actually gonna pull this back one. There we go, we'll leave that separated. Gotta keep them separated. Yay! You know that song, then you are awesome. Okay, how close do we want to have this to the house? Uh, is it chunk borders time? It is. So we'll probably do it right in this chunk here. Maybe so. Yeah, maybe we'll do it in this chunk along along the, the path to this. Yeah, yeah, I think this is where we'll do it. Well, the house is almost within one chunk now. <laughs> almost. Mark the edge of this. We will go up to 80, and we'll build this out. Oh no, my obsidian shovel is about to break. Dang it. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make an all the modium one. Because that sounds cool to me. Do this. Give me that. Goodbye, shovel. You have served your purpose, but you know, now I will be saying goodbye. Let's upgrade this to a blue one. Let's check another blue. Yeah, I like that one. Look at that. We gain haste. Nice. And it's indestructible, so I will take it. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to clear out the path a little bit, make things look a bit nicer before we commit to building it. So that is two out. Okay, that's what we want. We want two out. And then we want it to cascade down by two for each one. Oops. Did I make a big ass hole here? I did. <laughs> we'll just fill that up then. Okay. Now that we're cascading down like that and it looks pretty good, we can build this out again. And we need to do this and do this and this and this. Probably want to edge this around so we get rid of this tree that's probably been here for years. Put the black sand into our refill real quick so it'll just keep refilling us okay there we go now we have this this kind of uh, filled out we'll probably move this too but this looks pretty okay now it looks all right uh we still have quite a bit to do over here <laughs> but this is this is decent i will take this for now i think it looks pretty good all righty so now we can build this farm out i need more dirt we're gonna need quite a bit of dirt, actually. Um, we probably want to go mine some dirt. Let's go shapeless. And let's find somewhere far away from the house that we can just absolutely destroy. This place is pretty. I don't want to ruin this place. Um, maybe we'll go down here. So we'll just, uh, 
break into this and we'll grab the dirt from under here. We won't touch the grass, the grass blocks. We'll just touch the dirt blocks that are under them. All right, let's fly back home, wherever home is, which we still need to mark. It's this way. Still haven't marked home. <laughs> Hello, home. How are you? We're back. Okay, so now let's dig this whole thingy out, which we don't actually want to do this with dirt on the edge. We uh, want to do spruce. So we need to see chunk borders again. It's 80, so that's where we want to be. It's not the way that I want it to be, man. I want it to all be the same. No. No, you. Damn you. No. Why? Why are you why are you like this? We need more spruce logs. You got spruce over here for us, bud? Yes, you do. Thank you. Okay. Now we can get to business with this. We actually probably want to tighten this up. This is the center, right? By four. So one, two, three, four. We can do the path around the farm. And we'll do a seven by seven farm. That's six, so we need to move it by one. Yeah, this is a uh, six, so. Well, guess you're getting moved again, son. How many slots do we have over here? We have one, two, three, four. Okay, we can move this out. We can move this, is this, cause this is still seven. So we can move this outward by one. All right, now we have space over here, sweet. Uh, disconnect this, fully disconnect you here, and then should be able to shapeless your ass. Yeah. Okay. All right, there we go. This is what, what we want, because we're going to put water around that so we can do lily pads of fertility. Beautiful. That's what I like to see, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. This is exactly what we want. Now we can put some, I guess we make uh, some farmland. I guess we make a bunch of farmland, which we need this for. Thank you, sir. And then we'll dump all this into here. And we'll dump all this into here. There we go. Okay. Is all this stuff getting dumped? Yeah, get dumped. Okay, now we want to make some... We have crystals. We have this crystal and this crystal. Maybe we want to make a master crystal real quick. Let's look up IUM so we can see all of these. Okay, so we need to do this. And we'll make... So... Oh, our crystal broke. Rip. Well, And make another one of these to make this. We want this. How much do we have? So, 29. We want to make a full stack of this. Oh, we're going to need more then. We're going to need more. Okay, yeah, we'll just make more. Um, we're going to need another crystal which we need this for, so we'll do that. And then we need to make three of these. Oops. Yeah, ding it, get in now. Three, and then we can make the next crystal. Yep, next crystal, do this. Now we need to make some of these. Oh, we need to make some more of these, I guess. What do I need to make? Okay, to make this a premium crystal. We need that, and then this can make the master crystal, which we need. Oh, we're going to need insanium for that. I don't think we can afford that right now. We already used half of our stuff. We have four more stacks, which is not going to be enough. Yeah, we're going to be we're gonna be low. We're going we're gonna to be low on it, but that's okay. This, do that, make a stack. I don't know if we'll even be able to get to it. We have seven. Yeah, because we're going to need four. We're going to need four of those. So, we might be better off just not doing that right now. Yeah, we won't be able to make it. So, let's just 
grab these and let's make some farmland. Let's just make a bunch of farmland from the dirt we have. Just store some farmland in here. We can make farmland. Let's make some Imperium farmland. Just make as much as we can, I guess. 28. What are we going to get from here? Some Inferium. 15 Inferium. Okay, now that we have farmland here, what we actually want to make sure that we do is make ourselves a stairway down. We want to be able to get under this for specific reasons. So go down. We want to be able to get under the farmland here. And there's a reason for that. And the way that I have this set up, I'm going to be able to make this a tiered farm. And what that means is I'm going to be able to, I'm going to be building it up. So we'll have multiple levels of the farm. Okay, so this will be going under. And then we'll have a ladder go down right here. There is a method to my madness, I promise. I don't blame you if you don't believe me. There usually isn't, but I promise there is for this. So now we have this set up. Now we can get this farmland down. We'll be upgrading this over time, but this is what we were able to make now, which is good. It'll fill up the majority of this. Uh, we won't even have enough crops to do what I want to do right now anyway, but that is okay. So we'll have a stairway going down. Now we can plant our Inferium here. We have 27 seeds, I'll take 28, thank you. We'll plant all of these, we'll just get all of them growing. Okay, so all of these are gonna grow. We need to grab some water. Is there a way to pipe out water to source blocks from a sink? Let's just make a sink. Let's just make one and we'll put it over here. Put it right here for now. What the hell? You rat. Get out of there. Okay, that's all. This should all be source now. Should all be source blocks here. Okay. All right, perfect. Now these should be getting, yep, they're getting, they're getting all wetted up. Now we can grab the couple lily pads that we have in here, the lily pad of fertilities that we got from quests. And we can just chuck these bad boys right down. Chuck them here. And these these guys also stack on top of each other, which is really freaking awesome. We only have two to start, but we're going to be filling this entire thing up with them. And it's really going to help uh, these grow. It'll be insanely fast. Okay, so now that we have the base of kind of what we want to do with the farm, we need to make a harvester. Make some diamond sides. And we're going to need some solium, which we need a prosperity. We need a couple prosperity ingots for. Okay. Now we need a machine frame. Easy peasy. Now we can make a harvester. Yeah. Now we can drop the harvester down out here. And we will put it right here. This only right now, it can harvest in a 3x3 area. I don't know if that means around it. I think it means in front of it. Um, but I could I could be wrong. I think I believe it means in front of it. And it needs it needs power. But what we can do to solve that power problem is use the power mod so we can do wireless power. Uh, let's see if we can make what I need for this wireless power real quick. So we're gonna need an ender, an ender cell, uh, which we need to make a energizing orb for, which these are, this is gonna be the base of the power mod that we're going to need to start getting into. And the energizing orb is the centerpiece for this so oh, we need to make some more and these are called dielectric paste i was calling it dialectic like diabetic but that was wrong we're also going to need some cables because we want to connect these up we'll need an importer as well i believe and we'll probably set this up with a modular router later i will go over that once we get to that point uh, i probably want to place this somewhere around here with the, where the power cables are. And we'll go one, two, three off of that. So there's three in the, between there. And here is the tricky part. We can have this coming out of the ground if we wanted to, to power these. I might do that. It might look a bit better. Maybe we'll have it coming out there, 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 and there. Maybe we'll have four. We could also do more. We could do the entire circle around. Usually you do them above it, but for our case, I think it's fine if we don't. 
We need some more tiny capacitors so we can get an energizing rod. We need this. Oh, iron fences. And now what this energizing orb is going to allow us to do, will this work from here? Oh, let's uh let's raise that up actually. We can do the energizing rod. Is that there. And now what these allow us to do is we can put things in the energizing orb like this ender core here, which need to be powered. So we need an iron vendor, a dielectric casing, and a basic capacitor. Even though this isn't where you can craft it, you can do the move items and it'll move the items to here so you can grab them out at least. So if it's a recipe that's only a, that can fill up in every one here, every block there, you can use this. So we can wanna do this, place that in there, place the dielectric casing in there and the basic capacitor, and this should charge it up. Yeah, get charged. You can add more of these. Typically, like I said, you do it above, but this is, I think this will be fine for us. It'll look, it'll look kind of goofy, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll go ahead and make a, another one and see about upgrading this. You need sunny quartz. No, I'm pretty sure you just need a block of quartz. Yeah, you just need quartz block. Okay, well, we can make our own. It was just being, it was just being wacky. Let's do that. And let's upgrade this to the next level. And we'll also upgrade this one as well. Okay, now we have two of these. So next time things will charge faster. But look, we have the ender core. Now what we can make is this ender cell. And what we're gonna use the ender cell for here is to wirelessly transmit power for us. Oops, did I make the wrong one? I made an energy ender cell starter. I might, I don't think you can make the higher level ones. Yeah, you can't make the higher level ones just by, uh, <laughs> just, just by upgrading it as typical. So I kind of messed up there. I want to, I want to make the blazing one. So for the blazing one, we're going to need an ender core again, and we're going to need these blazing crystals. The blazing crystals, we need to put a blaze rod or blaze powder into this energizing orb here uh, to power these up. And we're going to need four of those. How many blaze rods do we have? Okay, we have multiple of them. So let's just grab these weird ones and we'll drop these in here. This will get charged up. And like I said, later on, you can automate this and we will definitely have this automated because I use the heck out of the power orb. Uh, but for now, we're just going to be doing this manually. Okay, that's our four blazing crystals done. Now we need to make another ender core, which we need. Oh, looks like we need some more of these, some dielectric paste. Let's make some of that. Make some dielectric casings. And we will pull these items out of here. And now we'll boop these into here and get it cooking again. Okay, that's done. Now we can make the ender cell blazing. So now we can do the blazing ender energy cell or ender cell rather. And what we're gonna wanna do is put this onto our power grid. We'll just place this right here. We will have this, oh, all the items are in our way. We want the sides to be off and we want it to receive from below. We'll turn everything else off. Okay, so now this, as you can see here, this can't really store power right now. It says zero of zero FE. What you need to do now, first let's collect our quests so we get free stuff. Yeah, free stuff. And more free stuff because we completed more quests. And more free stuff because we completed more quests. Look at that, isn't that cool? We got a ton of free stuff, damn. Actually, that was wild, honestly. We got a lot of free stuff, damn. Okay, so let's put the, uh, put another basic one down here. And since we have a bunch of these, let's go ahead and upgrade this to the next level. Bump it to the next level, the next level, yeah. Put those there. Okay, so now we have four of those rods there. Got some energy cables too, interesting. Okay, so as I was saying, the ender cell, why this ender cell is empty is because you need to put a battery in it. So one of these batteries here will allow it to store some power. And to upgrade the batteries you can do, it's a simple tiered system. So we need to go ahead and make one of these batteries. And once we make one of these, we can then drop it into there and it should work good. We need to make some big boys. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one to the basic battery. Okay, so the basic battery. And now we drop this into here. We just shift left clicked it into here and now it can store power. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now that that can store power, we can make these ender gates. 
and these ender gates allow you to transfer power uh, wirelessly as well just like the quantum entangler porter could earlier that we made so we're gonna need some basic energy cables here and then we're gonna need another ender core so we need another eye of ender Let's make another ender core in the system down there put this into here now we can make these ender gates so what you can do is now that we've had now that we have that set up is we can place the ender gate on the side here and it's on the first channel and now it's giving this machine power so now we have more wireless power just with this yes if you place this here it does count as a block right here so you can't place anything that's why i didn't place it on the back here uh, because i want to be able to place a lily pad here but now we have more wireless power and we don't have to make any other entangle porters to deal with that. This is another cool wireless power solution. You just have to have one ender cell and you can pick which channel it's on. So we have it on channel one and down here, we also have this ender gate on channel one. And you can see, it can see all of the power that's on channel one. And this specific ender gate is the basic one. So it can pull a max of 2000 FE per tick. Isn't that nice? And this thing, as you can see, is harvesting. So it looks like it is harvesting in a 3x3 in front of it. Uh, looks like it might be harvesting a 3x4 if any of these are to show for it. But I think it's just this 3x3 in front of it. So now we know, since this says it harvests a 3x3 by, by default, it looks like it's harvesting a square in front of it. So it starts here, and then it goes out 1, 2. So it's 1, 2, 3 and then one, two, three. So it harvests a three by three in front of it. You can also upgrade this harvester, which I kind of want to see if we can do. We got some more quest stuff, more free power stuff. That's always awesome. Power is a, can be quite expensive. It's always nice to get free stuff from there because it is rather expensive. Okay, we need to make a machine upgrade base. Let's do that, make this, and then we can upgrade this even further which will upgrade our harvester here. It'll give it better collection speed and also more range. You see that? Plus one area. It uses two times fuel usage, but that's fine. And it operates 20% faster, but we wanna go even further. We wanna make the upgrade as fast as we can. So let's do that for now. Okay, we have this one and let's see how much orange we have. We have two orange. We can make some more. So let's do that. Let's make four more. Oh, no, we're going to need eight because of those ingots, because the ingots take two each. So these take two each, take those, then we'll upgrade this again. Oh, look, we need one more tertium and let's upgrade this. Now it's going to get plus three area, 2.5 times operation speed, but it uses six times the amount of fuel, but that's okay because the harvester, the harvester only uses 10 fuel per tick. So we're only using 60 per, we're only using 60 FE per tick, so that's totally fine. But the area is multiplied by three. So now it can do a six by six. So it can do one, two, three, four, five, six. So from the center of itself, th this is a little weird because it says plus three. So does it mean that it does a six by six and it's off center? I really, I really don't know. That's a little odd. We can't make an Imperium one, but that's okay. We can still make this one and it should start harvesting uh, most of the plants that we have here, which is super cool. It's gonna harvest all of them and we will be absolutely chilling. It's gonna, it's gonna do our harvesting job for us. It's really nice. And you can upgrade this further and further, as I said, and you can get all the way down the upgrade chain here, even to this one, the awakening one, which is plus six area, but it uses 96 times fuel, but it operates at 200 times speed. We'll probably be going for this one it's 40 times operation speed, and then maybe we'll think about this one later. But for now, we have the tertium upgrade. Uh, so this is gonna be harvesting most of these for us, which is gonna be really nice. So we'll have, the inferium will grow faster here than it was over there for us. So that's pretty cool, I think. We could take the soil out of here uh, and put it down here as well. Uh, but for now, I'm not gonna worry about that. Oh, look at this one, it doesn't even have water. We might, uh, what we'll probably do is we'll put the network, we're gonna put a network receiver down here. So we'll probably put it in the center here and we'll put water under it. Or rather, instead of water, it'll just be the network receiver. Let's go ahead and make 
a network receiver and a transmitter. I'm just going to stand right here because we might need to make some more. Uh, we might need to make some more processors, and it looks like we do need to make more. Let's go ahead and make a few of these. Let's make a receiver, which we need. We're going to need two destruction cores, and we'll also need two construction cores. Let's make a receiver, and let's make a transmitter. Oh, we need another machine casing. Now we can make our transmitter, and we can make our network card, which we need another advanced process for. Nice. More advanced processors. Now we can make our network card. And we will place our receiver down here, like I said we would. Oh, damn, we're going to lose this soil. It's going to turn into regular farmland. Damn it. Well, that's a waste, but that's okay. So we have this. Now we use the network card on this. And we will then place the network transmitter inside. And we'll place the wireless card in there. Let's make some signs. We have two in here. Let's break this one. We already made some new armor. Clearly, we made some new armor. And let's go ahead and label this. Okay, so now we've labeled our networks. Labeling them like this really helps me keep track of what transmitter goes to what. And also, if I decide to move any receivers out there, I know which wireless card to pull out to change here. Okay, let's just rename those. Crop farm, mob spawners, or factory. All right, that's better than just farm and mob farm. I don't, I don't like that. Okay, so we need our importer here, and we need cable. Okay, we have some cables. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and do this. We'll place the importer on top here, right over to here. And this will allow us to build our farm up a level as well. So then we can build up. So we'll build that there, so it's right on our head. And then we will put the other harvester there, and this will work. So we can continue to scale this up uh, as our operation continues to grow. But yeah, this is going to be really awesome. We have wireless power going to it. It's working. It's cutting all of these down. It actually looks like it's getting all of them. So it's a six by six, but this is a seven by seven and it's still cutting all of them. So it was a three by three. Oh, maybe that's how it works. It was three by three, right? And maybe it does one, two, three on each edge. So it starts off with this three by three in front of it and maybe it goes one, two, three. And then on this side, it goes one, two, three. Okay, if we upgrade it to this one, then it should reach our entire farm just from having one harvester. That's really good. Last time I had two harvesters when I built something similar to this because I built it as a 9x9, nine nine, but I feel like the best thing to do is to build it as a 7x7 seven seven to maximize the harvester. And clearly, this will maximize it much better than I had even before because I had two harvesters on each level. So this will be much nicer. Okay, cool. Well, there's the start of this farm. This is gonna. This is going to be exponential growth as we continue to get more and more inferium which this is pumping out for us uh, then we will just continue to upgrade the soil and then what we can make are these growth accelerators and what's really cool about these and that's why i made this little pit down here under it is you put them under the soil right but you can stack them up to 64 under a block and they reach the reason you can stack them down to 64 is because each block reaches up six up to 64. So even from layer one here, right, we place them down below this, it will reach the upper layers of our farm. Less and less, of course, as we build higher and higher. But regardless, those growth accelerators will help our crops. Do these upgrade exponentially? No, they don't. Okay, so once you build one, that's it. All right. Okay, so this one has a range of 12 blocks. The other growth accelerator is six. Okay, it's a range of 60 blocks. And it helps the plants grow faster. So you can just place multiple under under one. And it, it works in a straight line up. So it only it only works in a straight line up. You can't just place one here and it grows all like around it by 60. It grows whatever crops above it. Uh, but that's another thing that you can add onto these farms, and they're really cool. Look at this mob farm over here. So let's Let's sit on top of our mob farm while we think about what we also need to plan for in the future. So we want more lily pads of fertility at some point, right? But we're going to need fertile essence. And you get fertile essence by making by having slime pearls, rib bones, and catalyzing glands. So the slime pearls we have quite a few of. We do need to get a slime spawner working. The rib bones we're going to have plenty of because we have a few skeleton spawners. The green dye here we can solve by just growing cactus. 
Um, so that's not a problem. But we need a creeper to get this catalyzing gland here. So let's see. But it's not going to tell us exactly what creepers drop it. But it looks like just a creeper in general. Because it's not telling us the drops. But I guess just creepers in general will drop these catalyzing glands. So we're going to need these as well. Which means we need to find a creeper and make a creeper spawner. So we can get catalyzing glands down here. How many rib bones do we have? We have 11. So these will slowly come in. Uh, we just need to make it so that these guys can spawn further away. Uh, that's something that we'll have to do later on. Because uh, we cannot deal with that right now. Actually, I think there's an activation range that you can upgrade. If you want to upgrade the activation range, you need prismarine shards. How much can it upgrade to? This modifier cannot increase above 48. Okay. So we need a way to tell this thing that a player's here. That is something that I don't know if there is a option to resolve. I don't think there's a block that we can put here to pretend like it's a player. Uh, so we'll have to think about that. I know we can put spawner agitators on these, but I don't know their exact range. We could use maybe our nouveau with, and I think the Drigmies, if you put a if you put an NPC into a bottle, and I, I know the Drigmies will farm them for you. I don't know exactly how that works, but that might be the solution so we don't have to use a mob farm like this, like the traditional style. And we might build an Art Nouveau mob farm. Uh, that's something that we could look forward to. But I'm going to go ahead and take a break. We got some Aldemodium gear. We've got an Aldemodium sword, an Aldemodium shovel even. Ooh. We've got the power orb over here, which is going to be really useful later on when we start getting into wanting to generate more power. So we can make uh, big boy generators from the power mod. That's going to be really helpful. We have a ton of resources. We have that mob farm in the works. We have it almost finished. Uh, we just need to find a solution for getting those to spawn. That is something that we might, like I mentioned earlier, we might use our nouveau for. That could be really cool. But yeah, man, we're actually, we're pretty strong now. I mean, I don't think we're strong enough for the warden. But we are strong enough to do the Ender Dragon and go to the end. Which is something that we might think about. We might want to try to do that. That could be something cool. But we'll continue to improve things. We're going to continue to optimize and add on to things like that farm down there. We have so much more to do. We're not even close to the end game. Like, yeah, we have some really good gear. But there's so much more that we can do. We're not even... We're not even closing in on the ATM star at all. We have literally no components for it. So we have so much more to play. We have so much more to figure out and learn together. So I'm really excited for that. I'm going to try to record enough footage so I can have videos scheduled to post while I'm out of town. I'm going to go visit some family. I miss them a lot. But I'll do my best to keep the uploads coming while I'm gone. They might stop at some point, maybe around Christmas time. But I want to get them scheduled at least. So I'm going to grind quite a bit and hopefully get a bunch of footage for you guys because I'm having a ton of fun with this. I actually have to stop myself from playing to go to bed at a good time so I can get to work. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope you all take care. Make sure you drink some water and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.